What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be installing my serpentine belt that I got from FCP Euro. It's actually the whole kit. It includes the tensioner, idler pulley, the drive belt, and a bolt. That's all you need and it's actually recommended that you do it between 65 to 75,000 miles. Now, I have seen that other people actually haven't done it or they actually go up to close to 100,000 and it could be a good and bad thing uh, that or you're just kind of pushing your luck in a way because on mine my car actually has 84,000 miles right now um, I don't think it's ever been done but I have noticed that maybe about a month and a month and a half ago I was starting to hear some kind of noise and I was actually thinking that it was probably coming maybe from my coilovers or my axle and I don't think that was the case Turns out that one day I decided to do some research. It was actually maybe about a week and a half, two weeks ago. And uh, yeah, it turns out that that noise that I was hearing was actually coming from my tensioner. And I'll show you guys in a little bit. I think your tensioner is not supposed to be moving around like this. Um, mine does have some movement while the car is on. Uh, so yeah, um, I need to replace it and I'd rather replace it now before something messes up and then if, because if something does mess up and causes the belt to break, there is, or I've read that there is a chance of your engine actually sucking the belt in. So if you're around that mileage, let's say 70, 75,000 miles, I would recommend just go ahead and replacing it. Um, it's supposed to take maybe about... 30 to 40 minutes to do it you don't have to take the fan out like some of the uh, directions say so I'll, I'll kind of walk you guys through the process um, you need a T60 and an E12 socket those are the the most uh, the only two sockets that you're gonna need and uh, I got a T55 I wasn't able to find the T60 so hopefully that works and uh, I also have my bumper that I need to put on I, actually I finally put the lip back on the bumper so I had to take it off. I really didn't want to take it off, but I didn't want to put on the lip and have to drill new holes into the bumper. So what I did is I took the bumper off, put the lip on, and kind of lined it up where the uh, the previous holes were at. Made marks on the lip and then drilled in that way and made my marks. So it was a little bit more of a process to get it on there, but it's actually a little bit easier once the bumper's off. So yeah. So we'll hopefully get this on at the end of the video because it's been a while since I've seen the car with the lip on it. All the pictures that I've been posting on my Instagram have been old pictures. Uh, so it's time to go get some new ones and uh, because tomorrow I'm going to be filming with uh, John. And uh, yeah, so you guys are going to have to stay tuned for that. So let's go ahead and I get started and um, I'll kind of show you guys what the kit comes with and how the uh, process works. Alright guys, so I forgot to show you guys how the tensioner was actually moving. I already took the intake off and I don't feel like putting it back in even though it should only take a couple minutes. But this, from my understanding, is not supposed to be moving like left to right once the car is actually on. So mine had a little bit of play. Now the thing is... I uh, read somewhere that I think somebody had this like once they replaced it it was still moving but I mean everything was on there uh, just fine so it could go either, either way but to my understanding I don't think it's supposed to have any any sort of movement so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick the T55 in here which is supposed to be a T60 but I think you can get away with the T55 and I'm gonna move it to the right to release the tension and let me see if I can get you guys in here there's a little hole right here that once you move the tensioner to the right you stick a I guess you can stick a allen key that's small enough um, to hold it in place and then you can fish the uh, the belt out and then you just got to remove the cap that's right here and break the uh, the bolt loose um, I don't have a breaker bar so I'm gonna use a pull from the uh, the jack so hopefully that should be enough to kind of get it break get it loose um, but yeah 
Uh, let me go ahead and uh, get this removed and then we'll move on to the next step. Got my T55. And uh, I should get my Allen key. All right, and here's the, uh, the Allen key that I'm gonna use for the uh, tensioner. am I supposed to reach back here? Uh, gotta fish it in there. Oh, almost lost it. There we go. Alright. So as you guys can see, the Allen key is in there. I'll just pop this back out. And you guys can see the belt's loose. So I'm just gonna take the belt out and then uh, we'll move on to the uh, next step. All right, the belt's out. And typically if the belt is bad, you'll see some uh, rip, uh, like all the, uh, the lines would actually be starting to crack. But this one is actually in decent condition. I don't really see any issues with this. And I'm wondering if it might have been replaced or not, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to this and I'm going to keep it somewhere just in case you guys never know if something were to happen. Oh, I at least have a backup. All right, so now that you have uh, removed the belt, what you want to do is go back. I have to do this again. Push on it. Remove the uh, Allen key. All right, and uh, yeah, so that's there. Now we're gonna take uh, our E12, which actually let me go ahead and I get that. And you can actually order these online. I ended up using a, um, actually I went to Harbor Freight to pick these up because I couldn't find anywhere else to find it. I went to uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, and I wasn't able to find it there. So I went to Advance, O'Reilly's, AutoZone, none of them had it. So I went to, uh, damn, how am I supposed to get this open? All right, guys, let me go ahead and I get this open. I have to run back to the apartment and get my torque wrench anyways. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys whenever uh, I get this thing open all right guys so before i continue i want to show you guys this is a kit that i actually purchased from harbor freight it's a 17 piece uh, e socket and star bit set and so here's the socket that i'm going to be using which is the uh, e12 and also it does have a t55 which is what i used to uh, break the uh, tension off the uh, tensioner and it worked just fine and it also does have a socket for you to use to uh, use the uh, star bit so technically this is all you really need to get the uh the serpentine belt removed and the idler pulley so eleven dollars is not bad and honestly if you're not filming this would probably take you no more than 30 to 45 minutes so anyways um, i got my e12 right here which is going to be to break this bolt loose oh. and it's not e12 so i want it to look too small Directions online said E12. You got me over here looking stupid on camera. All right, well, luckily they're different sizes, so uh, let's try a 14. Well, we're gonna have to try it with the E14 because we don't have anything else. All right. Hopefully I don't strip it. Somebody needs to update their damn directions. So I was I looked at this tutorial online. And uh, yeah, so that's who was saying that it was a uh, E12. 
Alright, so here's the uh, old boat. No issues with the uh, E14. I don't know if you guys can see it, if this thing would focus. Out the uh, old one, so here's the uh, old tensioner. Put this back in here, just like that. All right, so here we have our new one. As you guys can see, it already has a pin, which you're gonna have to pull it out once you actually have it in place. But you're not gonna pull it out until you're actually ready to. Uh, once you have the new belt on, so everything in here stays the way it is, all you gotta do is just put it back in place, put the bolt in, and tighten it up to uh, 28 pounds of torque. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so here's the, uh, the new bolt. The new bolt comes with the, uh, the washer, and the tensioner can only go in one way, so there's really no way that you can mess up um, you just kind of got to feed it in there and once you place it inside you'll feel it go in into its groove so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get the bolt inside all right guys so looking at it the um, the e14 was actually almost perfect uh, it wasn't off by much but now we have our torque torque wrench um, I have it set to 28 foot pounds and uh, let's go ahead and uh, tighten this up All right guys, we got it torqued down to 28 foot pounds. Now let's go ahead and uh, get the idler pulley loose and we can switch that out real quick. So by looking at it, um, this one doesn't have the, um, the actual bolt exposed. You just have to pop off a cap. Uh, let's see. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it. So, there's a cap right here you just want to pop that off and then you should see the bolt and this is going to be the one that's going to have to come out so i can't really show you guys on camera and do it at the same time so i'll go ahead and pop it out and sit you guys to the side oh like that you just take a flat head in there and pry it out and the cap comes off okay so I don't know what kind of directions I was following and I don't know if I remember looking into the idler pulley but thankfully I have that uh, kit that I bought so I should be able to use a Torx that fits in here and be able to break that loose and put in the new one so let me go ahead and like, figure out what size and I'll let you guys know so the tool that we're going to be using is a T50. Got the old one. got to screw the uh, new one back in which is gonna be right there and just like the tensioner you want to torque it down to 28 foot-pounds and then the next thing that you want to do is just put the belt in and there's a diagram that I'll post up on the video that you guys can follow. All right guys, so um, we have everything torqued down. We have the tensioner torqued down to 28 foot pounds, the idler pulley to 28 foot pounds, and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, release the tension on the belt and everything should be back to normal. And um, my battery is about to die, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together and I'll catch you guys um, once I'm officially done and I'll fill you guys in with all the tools that you guys need and then uh, we'll get back to the rest of the video. All right guys, so I'm not sure exactly where I left off at on the other video, but I realized that I didn't have the belt on 
properly so I, it was looking kind of funny to me and I knew it wasn't right so I had to go back and take a double look and uh, yeah so you just want to make sure that the belt is put in all the way at the bottom you want to start at the main one the uh, the big one that's actually on the engine and uh, make sure that that's in all the way because that was preventing me from actually being able to put it right by the uh, alternator so make sure you have it in there first correctly and then route it to the second one at the bottom and then route it into the idler pulley and then do the alternator last that's kind of the route that you want to go to that's usually the best way um, and then once you're done with that you want to release the tension with the uh, the breaker bar or your um, whatever you have and then once you uh, release the tension you pull the pin out and then the tension will and just slowly let it down and then the tension would actually go on the belt by itself so I wanted to make sh uh, I wanted to point out and make it clear on what tools I used I ended up using the socket that came with the, uh, the tool set that I bought and also I used the T50 so I used this for the uh, T50 for the idler pulley and then I used the T55 which actually I bought separately but technically I didn't really need it because I do have a, another one of these so you can make it work with this um, the only thing about this is that I noticed that it's really loose so you kind of have to hold it in place and then this one obviously obviously it's just glued in there so this actually works a little bit better but you can make it manage with if you just buy that kit from Harbor Freight and then last but not least I use the uh, E14 and we use this to break the bolt out of the uh, tensioner then the flathead to pop the cover off the idler pulley um, that's pretty much all you need guys and maybe an hour of your time you can probably do it a lot quicker if you manage to get the belt on there at the right like on the first time you can actually do this job within an hour and then put everything back so just save yourself the money buy the kit which is like 120 130 and don't go to a dealership don't go to any shop and uh, pay them like another 150 200 for them to do it because they go by the book and i think the book tells you to take the fan off which is a lot more work and you really don't have to do that so um i'm fighting with tom right now um with daylight so i'm gonna go ahead and put my bumper on real quick and i'll get back to you guys in a little bit i guess i'm not sure where i left off at in the video from last night double check your tensioner if you see any kind of movement while the car is on kind of moving like side to side that's a sign that it's actually going bad so buy the whole kit from SGP Euros lifetime warranty you can always replace it later on and don't have to worry about spending any more money but shipping it back yeah guys hopefully this better helps some of you guys and um, if you feel like it's something that you can't do trust me um, I know how it feels like when it comes to doing something for the first time you kind of double you kind of hesitate of you know doing it so um, it's not that bad um, anybody that has at least some kind of mechanical incline can do it you can't really mess anything up besides stripping some bolts and um, you guys already saw I mean it, they're not torqued down too much so it's just 20 20 28 pounds but that's gonna do it for today's video guys um, I'm gonna continue another video today but that'll be for uh, another day or tomorrow hopefully thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one